Hey guys, Logan Bowles here, and welcome back to my Rocky series of reviews. Uh, I'm sorry I hadn't uh, got on top of doing more Rocky reviews very lately. Uh, it's been more than a month since I've last done my uh, since I've done my latest episode of a Rocky film, Rocky IV, where Rocky Balboa defeats Ivan Drago, one of the best villains in the entire Rocky franchise, by the way. Um, and for this review. Uh, we're going to be talking about Rocky V, the fifth installment of the Rocky franchise. Now, unlike a few of previous films, uh, this one is not directed or written by Sylvester Stallone. It's directed by uh, this time by John G. Appleson, the same guy who gave us the first Rocky film. So in this film, Rocky Balboa finally uh, decides to retire from boxing, and George Washington Duke, the main villain, tries to persuade Rocky Balboa uh, to not retire and try to keep on boxing uh, against other boxers, and he decides to uh, just retire immediately and effortlessly. Uh, and then later on in the film, we get to see Rocky Balboa teach uh, this young guy by the name of Tommy Gunn, who's played by a real, t a real life of boxer, Tommy someone, I forgot his uh, last name, but his re first name is Tommy, and rest in peace to him. He actually died uh, years after this film came out, I believe. Now, this one, I will say, is fine. It's a fine Rocky film, a, f a fine action of a Rocky film, uh, although, uh, like Rocky IV, it does have a very high entertainment value, which makes it worth watching, uh, just the whole entertainment Within it, a few scenes that were incredibly entertaining, uh, like the one, like all the scenes with George Washington do. Now, some people took issue with his character being over the top and uh, slightly ridiculous. This film, overall, it, it was it was an entertaining film. I'm not gonna, uh, I will not deny that it is a very entertaining film. I did have a good time watching it. It's just that I couldn't help but notice that there were a few times where it felt like there were. Scenes that didn't uh, uh, felt right. Uh, just you know, just scenes that felt like there were a couple of other scenes that had been cut out of the movie. In fact, from from what I understand, this film suffered from some studio interference, um, and there were like some you know sh uh, scenes that had been cut out of the movie. Um, uh, that's just me uh, assuming uh, or what I what I understand and stuff like that that's just me and there were times where the film did suffer from some studio interference you know a studio tried to get into a scene that sh uh, that they felt obligated to either remove or try to reshoot that scene or try to redo that scene again uh, it, there were some scenes like that throughout the entire film and Tommy Gunn uh, I, a lot of people really took issue with this character uh, saying he, uh, or mostly the guy who played him, uh, some people were saying he's a terrible actor. He's not a very good actor, and he cannot really act very well in this movie. Uh, there, there were some people who were like that when comparing or uh, when talking about the guy who played Tommy Gunn in this movie. Now, honestly, I didn't think he was that bad. Uh, I thought he was actually a pretty good character. He He's a pretty badass boxer, I can say that. It's just that my issue is not with him in general or the character. It's just the film's way of trying to make him compelling and make him a more than one-dimensional. Uh, uh, the film's way of trying to give him a backstory and the way that uh, the family of the Rocky uh, Balboa uh, and his family re reacted to him expressing just in one scene where he was expressing how uh, his father was drinking too much and was not paying enough money or something like that. And he was trying to box by himself or uh, learning how to box by himself. Um, whenever, uh, how they reacted, that, that was one of, one of the film's ways of not tr executing very well at trying to make his character very, very compelling and very emotionally attaching. You know, just there, there were some emotional moments that could have been, that could have paid off, but because of some scenes that felt, that didn't feel right, um, uh, partially due to some studio interference, like I just mentioned, 
uh, the film didn't do so well at trying to, you know, it gives some characters like Tommy Gunn um, that have a very, very compel uh, to be very well executed to his backstory and make him a very interesting character. So again, my issue is not with him or the character he plays. It's it's just the film's way of trying to make him compelling that just did not work very well. Uh, that's just what I'm really saying. And there were a few lines of dialogue, uh, mostly coming from uh, a Rocky Bello Jr., that just really made me cringe uh, a lot. Uh, I just, there were many line deliveries he, that he made that just kind of makes me go like, ah, really? Do you really have to say that? Oh, good God. Ugh. And the last uh, boxing match between Rocky Balboa and Tommy Gunn, uh, while it was entertaining and badass, uh, there were, uh, the crowd's reaction to it I thought was just utterly ridiculous and just absolutely comical. Um, but not in a way that it should have been. Uh, uh, particularly one shot that shows Rocky Balboa Jr. Uh, uh, shouting, uh, Take him on, Dad! He took my home! Or room! Or wh whatever he said. And I'm just like, uh, again, I was like, Ugh! What don't do? Really? <laughs> and I just love that one shot where you see uh, Rocky Balboa uh, punching uh, a George Washington Duke up and down to the car. That was hilarious and awesome. So yeah guys, while Rocky V is not really a great film by any stretch of the imagination in terms of some line deliveries, mostly given by uh, Rocky Balboa Jr. that were just atrocious, um, and some acting that is not really good, particularly from him, um, and some over-the-top reactions from the crowds at the very last boxing match uh, between Balboa and uh, Gunn, um, and also some scenes that either felt like uh, they didn't felt right or were cut out of the movie due to some studio interference. It was a very fine uh, boxing movie, um, or more like an action boxing movie. Um, uh, it, uh, like I said earlier, it does have a very high entertainment value like its predecessor, Rocky IV, uh, and that uh, should make you feel good uh, watching this film, despite how not so great it was. So with that being said, I'm going to give Rocky V a Silver Medal of Honor. So anyway guys, that is my review for Rocky V. My next review in my Rocky series is going to be for Rocky, F uh, Rocky Balboa the sixth film in the Rocky franchise, and it will be up uh, early next month, uh, probably November 2nd. Uh, I, I gotta check on that date, but I'm, uh, I think it's somewhere around there. If you guys enjoyed my review, please click the like button, and if you have already watched Rocky V, comment below and let me know what you think of it. If you enjoyed what you've seen here and you want to see future videos from me, please press up there to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great week, Battle Squad, and as always, fight the good fight.